It's Ironman Louisville Race Week, which is an opportunity for me to look back on the last eight weeks of training that I've done since Ironman Montremblant. So in the eight weeks since Montremblant, uh, my training is broken up into two weeks of recovery immediately after the race. I did a solid four week block and then a two week taper leading into Louisville. My four weeks of training uh, during, um, during this block have been the best four weeks of training I think I've ever done in my life. That's not just me saying that in order to psych myself up for the race. I really believe it for four reasons. First, I was able to get really great rest leading into uh, my training block. So I've been doing a lot of races this year. Uh, part of the reason why I've been doing a lot of races is I feel like I'm a better racer than a trainer. So I've been using a lot of short course racing as uh, some key workouts for um, to build up for some of the long course races that I've done. But after things kind of unraveled at Ironman Montremblant, I gave myself two weeks to really let my body recover and recharge to be ready, ready for the training block. Second reason is that uh, during the training block, I hit some of my key sessions better than I've ever done before. So two of my key sessions are a two hour run and a long bike. And during my two hour runs, I was really trying to smash my legs with intervals. So running uh, downhills really hard and recovering on uphills running uphills really hard and recovering on downhills and I felt really strong and that gives me a lot of confidence for my run leading into Louisville. On the bike, I uh, do a four and a half hour trainer workout which uh, I find generally is very mentally and physically taxing and I was able to get through it stronger, higher power than I've ever done before. Third reason why I think training went really well is I really listened to my body. So it's something that athletes always say is you gotta make sure you listen to your body, but so often we don't end up doing it. So this time I really tried to have more of a focus on that so that when there were days where I was really beat down, really tired, instead of continuing to dig myself into a deeper and deeper hole, I'd take a rest day or I'd do just a really easy workout to, uh, to help aid in recovery. And I found that that allowed me to hit more of my key workouts because I got the recovery that I needed. And finally, the reason why I think this training block went so well is because I sorted out some nutritional problems that I didn't even really know that I had. So in my last video, I talked a little bit about salt and tried to take a more scientific approach to my nutrition instead of just doing it by feel. So in the past, especially after longer workouts, a lot of times I'd feel completely drained I'd be a little bit lightheaded, sometimes I'd feel a little bit dizzy or my vision would be a little bit blurry. And I just assumed that that was part of training, that Ironman training's hard, and it is hard, but with proper nutrition, you can feel better and you can feel stronger. And since I've been supplementing with salt, I've been feeling a lot stronger in my training. So not everything during training went completely to plan or went completely rosy. So my swim isn't quite where I'd like it to be. I was able to consistently get into the pool and I got in some good swim volume, but my consistency in my stroke wasn't that great. I still have a lot to learn when it comes to swimming and, uh, and a lot of things that I'm trying to ingrain in my stroke. So during this last block, some of the times when I went to the pool, I, uh, I'd be feeling pretty good and I'd be putting up pretty good times and then other times. Uh, I'd be really slow in the pool, I'd feel really sluggish, and it just wasn't going so well. So that's one area of my training that didn't quite go uh, so well, but overall really excited about this block, and I'm really excited to see how Ironman Louisville goes this weekend. Thanks a lot for watching this video and for everybody's support. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button down below, and until next time, happy training. Oh, this you crazy mother... Yeah.